Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 6th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a quick video update here as we've had quite a few multiple flare events on our sun the past 48 hours. Having a look here at 304 angstroms from Solar Dynamics Observatory, watching the northern uh, bright sunspot region. That is where the multiple M-class and X-class solar flares have been coming from. So these have all been Earth-facing events as we still have about 10 sunspot regions that are Earth-facing right now. 1X-class and about 4, maybe even 6 M-class solar flares the last 48 hours. Having a look at multi-spectrum here. Darkened regions being coronal holes. We do have a coronal hole wind stream affecting us now, going through minor geomagnetic instability and as well minor radio blackouts from the solar flares. Just some amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed here with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for tuning in, pressing play, and taking time out of your day to stay aware and prepared to our sun's events. Just some amazing images and other lights here to be able to see what our sun is up to. This view here, you can really see the coronasphere in action, heliosphere. Massive jumping loops of energy from the sunspot region in the north. Amazing images here. And thank you all for subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared to all of the space weather events, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. If you haven't seen the latest world weather forecast, Please check it out. Amazing a sun. We've got about eight sunspots that we're looking at right here. And a pretty big one turning in. A big black hole on the top left side. So our current space weather conditions right now. We are under our three strong radio blackout impacts expected. And as well, G1 minor geomagnetic instability is being observed solar winds coming in at 378 kilometers per second right now so widespread high frequency radio blackouts to be expected with the r3 and a small northern light show having a look here at all of the m-class solar flares one two three four five six and about Two minor X-class solar flares. Current geomagnetic activity, KP4. As this is what we're going through right now, showing the Space Weather Prediction app, we did have a CME projected from the 2nd of May, which is now affecting us 5th into the 6th of May, and maybe even into the 7th. Having a look at the current ISPWA Space Prediction Spiral, not showing any new CMEs taking off from our sun. And then looking at LASCO 2, that is the most recent solar flare that came out actually on the 1st of May. And then bottom left-hand side there, slow that down, sun diving comet. And then for some reason, for some reason the images stop. On the 3rd of May, we are almost on the 6th now, so please stay tuned and we will be giving you the latest SOHO and Alaska coronagraph images from the 3rd to the 5th. Hopefully, if they update it. Maybe there's something they don't want to show us. Now, let's get to earthquakes here as we're still up and over average. And we had a pretty sizable earthquake, 6.2 at Fakfak, Indonesia. 
as well. Micronesia seeing a 5.6 there. Marianas Trench, lots of activity around Papua New Guinea. And as well, Tonga region, 4.6, 298 kilometer depth, 216 kilometer depth, Kermadec Islands, 4.4 there, northern New Zealand. 5.2 earthquake here in Aquitan, Alaska. Seismicity across North America. Notable earthquake here, 4.4 at Thatcher, Utah. F sizable magnitude 4.4 earthquake as well. 3.7 there, White City, New Mexico. Other than that, no major swarms to talk about across North American soil. Peculiar earthquakes all across the Caribbean, Central America, and into the south. This was the region I warned two nights ago. Cayman Islands, 4.2. East Pacific rise, 5.4 there up into the Cocos Plate. And then look at South American Plate. Deepest earthquake past 24 hours. A 527 kilometer depth earthquake in Bolivia. So heads up throughout all of this region. You can see all the increased seismicity at the Nazca Plate. Deep earthquake like that through the region. We got to expect a larger shallow earthquake to follow. South Sandwich Islands, notable 5.4. And a 4.1 earthquake here reported Greece, the Mediterranean, Central, the Mediterranean. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes, folks, friends and family. Be aware and prepared. That's what this is all about. Hashtag no fear here. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.